Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about how you don't always have to buy the most expensive parts for your car. Now of course we all want our cars to last as long as possible. We don't want to use junky parts on our cars, but on the other hand, we don't want to pay a bunch of money for stuff we either don't need. Now as an example, take motor oil. This is a very good motor oil. It's red line. But the cheapest I could find this thing online was a little bit over $10 a quart. While the Amazon full synthetic that they now sell on their own, it's less than $3.40 a quart. Now they're both good oils. They're both rated as excellent oils by the American Petroleum Institute, the API. Actually, the Amazon has a little bit higher grade rating than this does. And I do have to say, some of my customers who actually race cars swear by the red line in their race cars that they're putting on a racetrack. You really don't need to buy the more expensive oil for normal driving. And let's talk about synthetic oil itself. Now, if you got the modern car that needs like a zero W20 oil, you can only get that in full synthetic, so you have to buy synthetic. But if you have an older car that doesn't need full synthetic oil, a lot of times it's a waste of money for you, especially if you're like me and you don't put that many miles on your vehicles. Because, of course, over time, the oil degrades. They tell you to change your oil once a year regardless of the mileage you put on it. If you're buying $10 quart oil, you might be able to get a buck and a half at Walmart for just plain old normal oil. And if you're only driving three, four, five thousand miles a year, you don't need to buy the synthetic oil. So of course you take all that in consideration when you're buying oil for your car. Just because you're paying a whole bunch more, you may not need that. As long as your oil has this API certification, American Petroleum Institute, you can read about your own car, your own engine online, and make sure that that oil has those figures. That's all you need to know. Now when it comes to cosmetic stuff, like these headlights, you really don't want to get ripped off and buy the most expensive parts. The old lights on this Matrix went bad. If I bought them at the dealer, the replacement assembly were 253 bucks a piece. I got these better looking ones with the dark smoky plastic on them for $55 online. Not only did they fit perfectly, but they look a lot better than the original ones. And as you can see, these things have been on for over five years. They look perfectly fine. They're actually lasting better than the original ones. They got more style. So you don't have to spend five times as much for something that isn't even as good as the cheaper one. Now let's talk about expensive tires. Tires are rated in various ratings and the real super expensive ones are high speed. They have to be really soft so that when you take off with a monster engine, they'll grip the road. And so they kind of erase themselves while you're driving down the road if you go fast all the time. Think race cars. 500 mile race. They might go through six sets of tires. If your tires wore out that fast, you'd be furious. In most cases, you don't need to buy the super expensive, super soft ones. You know, you got a normal car, you're not driving like a race car driver. You don't need to buy those tires. And if you're like me and don't drive that many miles, I never buy the super expensive tires. I don't even buy the expensive tires because I don't drive that many miles. And long before the tread's worn out, my tires always dry rot. The ultraviolet rays of the sun, the heat of driving, eventually makes the rubber crack and you gotta replace them. I remember years ago, my wife had a Toyota Cressida. The tread still had about 90% of their wear, so I didn't think about it. But one day she calls me up and says, I got a flat tire. Luckily, she was only a block down the street. Put the spare on, drove it home. Then I checked all the tires, and man, they were all dry rotted for sure. Even though they had 90% of their tread left, I looked at the dates, and these tires were over 10 years old. Now, surprisingly enough, the tires on my Solica here, even though they're 10 years old and they're dirty, they're still not cracked, and they're Chinese tires. They were really cheap tires. They're holding up quite well, but if you look at the tires and you see all kinds of cracks going all around them, you know it's dry rot and it's time to get new tires. And if you don't drive a lot of miles like me, don't waste your money on super expensive tires. You don't need them. And if you do a lot more driving than me, say you drive 20, 30,000 miles a year, you want to buy good tires, of course. But when you go to buy tires, your main emphasis is going to be on which ones are going to last the longest. You don't need those fancy Z-rated tires for racing if you're not racing around like a maniac. See which ones last the longest at the best price and then buy those. Now the next thing you don't want to waste too much money on is car batteries. They're all basically the same other than some of those fancy 
gel spiral ones but there's actually only a few companies who actually make batteries and then they just put different names on them and sell them to other companies so you can want to price around when you get a battery look at the cold cranking amperage the higher it is the better the battery and price them go on the internet look around because you may be in a discount auto parts store but their battery prices might be sky high i've seen batteries that were 169 dollars in a discount auto parts store yet you go to other places walmart whatever and you find a cold cranking amp battery 80 or 90 dollars you're certainly not going to spend 169 or whatever at the high price place for a battery that it's equivalent almost half price but here's one scenario where you really want to spend more money some of the modern cars come with these absorbed glass mat batteries they have a longer storage life more power if your car came with one of these AGM batteries when you replace it you really are better off putting an AGM battery back in I would not go back to just an old-fashioned battery like this one here that came from AutoZone that has battery acid and water inside it you want to stick to the absorbed glass mats because I've had customers that did go from the AGM and they put in the regular ones because they were cheaper sometimes within a year or so that next battery would go bad there you want to buy the more expensive one because your car was designed for it but even then you can price around now let's go on to more complicated things like say your fuel pump these Toyotas they almost all have these nip and dent so fuel pumps in it. and yeah if you want to replace your fuel pump you want to put another nip and denso in you don't want those cheap Chinese knockoffs I've seen those things not work at all last a few months and break down if you got to drop the gas tank to change your fuel pump it's such an expensive job you want a good one but you don't have to go to the dealer to buy that nip and denso pump as an example the dealer nip and denso pump assembly for this matrix is $600 and $57 they're not giving them away but you can always find that nip and denso pump somewhere else they're available here in Houston locally cost me $140 for one that's stored in a trunk now in case it ever goes bad and of course if you're planning way ahead you could buy it online find who's got the best price because let's face it if your fuel pump goes out you're going to want it fixed right away so you can drive maybe the local guy's just going to say hey I got to buy it at the dealer yeah it's the only place I can get them well guess what if you got one in your trunk as a spare you don't have to worry about that I do it with all my cars because I don't want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere with a fuel pump that goes out and have to buy some super expensive thing when for a lot less I can have a spare in a trunk now the next thing not to spend all your hard-earned money on the most expensive product out there when you're waxing or polishing your car I like this new finish it's not a wax technically it's a polish but these bottles you know they're like six seven eight dollars they don't cost much and it says once a year well that's nonsense I still do it four times a year but I have seen fancy polishes and wax kits that are made in Germany for people in their elite cars and some of these kits will be 160 200 something dollars don't waste your money on that stuff you know it's just another scam that oh you got a real expensive car you need a really expensive wax there's all those ceramic nanotechnology coatings and stuff most of that stuff's a line of hoo-ha I've had people send me the stuff to try out and they said oh Scotty you're so great and then I'd say well you know send me some proof of how your stuff works and they give me some nonsense you know, I'm never allowed to talk to an engineer or a scientist who will say exactly how the stuff works when they're selling them out of some website or they come from Russia and these little bitty bottles will be like $49.95 keep the money in your wallet don't buy that stuff it's a bunch of nonsense just sales gimmicks to try to suck you into buying it because oh I want to keep my car's paint in great shape just use the regular stuff it works fine and it doesn't cost that much and the last thing I'm going to talk about now waste your money is gasoline most cars these days are made to run on regular gasoline in the United States they run perfectly fine don't waste your money putting in the mid-grade or the high test gas they give you all the ads make your car run better la 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 actually if your modern car was made to run on regular gas it's gonna run better on regular gas than it is on the high test gas they're designed to run on that particular octane you put a different octane in it actually may not burn as well they charge so much more for the high test gas than they do for the regular gas and the cost of production really isn't all that much different they said well it's our advertising cost that's why we charge more if you notice all our advertisements only advertise the expense of high octane gasoline you check it out 
That's still the truth today. You never see them advertising the cheaper gas. They're always advertising the high octane one. Makes your car run better. Blah, 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 blah. Don't fall for that stuff. And maybe you want to stay away from the really sleazy convenience stores in the bad part of town. Because if they did get bad gas, yeah, good luck getting them to pay to fix your car. I have actually had that happen to some of my customers. And they denied all responsibility. And, hey, you're going to take somebody to court for something that might have cost you eight, dollars $900 on your car? Hardly anybody's going to do that. So you're better sticking to the big names because, hey, you know, they've got insurance. And if they got a station that somehow got bad gas, everyone would say, hey, that station got bad gas. Then the company, big company, is going to stand behind it. They have to because it makes them look bad if they don't. So now you know a little bit more about why you don't necessarily want to buy the most expensive things for your car if you still want it to last a long time and not take too much money out of your wallet doing so. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.